Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And we are going to be installing Blips Builder for our 5M servers, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into the requirement. First of all, we are going to need 5M installed and you are going to need a server, all right? So if you don't have 5M installed or have your own server, I will have two links down in the description showing you how to install 5M and how to create your own server, okay? So go check those out if you don't have it already. Once you have those installed and ready to go, you want to come here to Blips Builder GitHub page, okay? There will be a link in the description that will lead you here. Once you get here, scroll down and read the README, okay? There's very important information in here as well as how to open the menu, okay? And the requirements also, all right? We will not be installing the requirements, which is essential mode, but I will have a link in the description showing you how to install essential mode if you don't have it installed already, all right? That will only be the one requirement that we need, all right? So once you get done uh, reading the description right there and you have your requirements installed, you want to come right here where it says download. Select the download and select download zip to download it. All right. Once you have Blips Builder downloaded, on my left hand side I have a folder which is one download and that download is Blips Builder. All right. And on my right hand side I have my server directory opened up and ready to go. I have my resources folder as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the resources folder. And let's leave it right here. Let's go back over to our downloads where we had our blips builder. And we are going to drag the whole folder over here to our resources. All right, as you can see, it's been dragged and dropped. Open it up, make sure that you have all of uh, your require well all of your files inside just like I have okay once you have that let's go ahead and go back to our server directory now what we want to do is open up our server CFG open up your server CFG once that is opened up what we want to do now is add blips builder to our resource list all right so uh, let's go ahead and add our Blips Builder to our resource list. I'm just going to copy the name Blips Builder from the folder. And then I am going to add it in right here. Start Blips Builder. All right. So um, you want to make sure that Blips Builder name matches the folder that you just added in your resources. Okay. It has to be the same exact name on the folder in your resources. Once you have start Blips Builder or ensure Blips Builder, you can go ahead and select file. Then you can select uh, save to save it. All right, let's exit out of our server CFG. Now let's go ahead and run the server and I'll see you in the game. All right, once you spawn in the game in your server, in order to bring up, uh, in order to bring up uh, the menu for Blips Builder, you're gonna have to open up your command window, which is Function Key F8. Function Key F8 will bring up um, this command window right here. All right. So what you want to do is press uh, forward slash, and then type in Blips Builder. All in low caps, just like I have here. All right type in blips builder and then press enter and now you can press f8 again to exit out of your uh, command window and now you should see your menu your uh, blips builder menu right there on the left side of your screen okay um, if you're using a controller you can use your controller to navigate through the menu or you can navigate through the menu by using the arrow keys on the keyboard all right uh, the first option is of course add a blip when you select add a blip, there will be a couple of options right here. The first one is label. Okay. So um, I'm gonna make a blip right now. Since we're at the lighthouse, the lighthouse is right behind me. I'm gonna press enter on label. Then a box will pop up where I could give it a name. 
So I'm going to give my uh, new blip a name. It's going to be called Lighthouse. And if you scroll down to Blip ID and scroll over, you will see the different images of uh, of the different type of um, blips that you could use. Now there is about over 600 of them, all right? So feel free to go through them all. Um, sometimes it kind of skips a couple, so you might have to double back. But uh, these are all of the blips right here, okay? So I'm just gonna pick a simple one, which is a house. Let's see, there we go. We'll pick that one. And on blip color, you get to change the color of the blip, of course. Um, let's just leave it uh, red right now. There we go. We'll leave it as that. And the current position, all right? You get to uh, select the current position, or you could put a custom position. If you select custom position, then you will have to enter in um, the X value, press enter, and then enter in the uh, Y value, press enter, and then enter in the Z value, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and back out of that. Cancel, there we go. So uh, I wanna use the current position. Once you uh, figure out what position you want, go ahead and select it. Once you select current position, you'll see a message above the minimap saying successfully added uh, this chords to the blip, okay? Next thing we want to add is the blip size. Okay, how big do you want your blip? Um, I usually have mine's about around 0.8. If I could get it to, oh, almost had it there. There we go, 0.8. Um, you could use any blip size that you want. The bigger, the bigger the blip size will be on the map. Okay. So once you have chosen your blip size, go ahead and select it. Then go to add blip. All right. And we have a message above the minimap saying blip added, okay? Now we get exit out of um, the blips builder menu, but before we exit out, let's go down to the other options. We have edit a blip, and if we select edit a blip, then the list of all the blips you created will be right here, okay? And it will also have the information. Once the blip is highlighted, it will have the information of the ID, the color, and the size of the blip, as you can see for Lighthouse. Um, the next option is remove a blip. You select that, a list of all your blips that you created will pop up and you can select a blip to remove and delete, all right? So let's open up our map. And as you can see right here, we have our blip, all right? It's kind of a little see-through-ish right here because I think it's the color that I decided to choose. But if you choose a different color, um, it's going to come out a little bit better than that. Let's go ahead and edit that one and choose a better color. So we want to press the, let's see, we want to press F8. Then we want to put forward slash and type in blips builder and then press enter. Press F8 again and let's go to edit a blip and let's select lighthouse. All right, now let's change uh, the blip color, right? Let's go ahead and change that blip color. Let's go put it on, um, we'll put it on eight. See what eight looks like. Oh, we'll put it on eight. After we do that, we could go ahead and select edit the blip. All right. Now, if you look on my mini map, now the house, uh, the color on the house is sticking out even more. It's even better. Let's go ahead and check it out. And here we go. We have our new blip right here. And the name will be right there next to uh, the blip as well. It will say Lighthouse on the list. Um, I forgot what that is called. Uh, on the legend legacy list or whatever that's called. But on the list to my far right, you will have the name of your blip right there. Say Lighthouse or whatever you name it. Okay. All right. Well, we got our blip. I hope this helped everybody out. If this did help y'all out to install it, or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for you, boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5 or 5M servers. This is Games and Graphics. Me and my little MP buddy, man. We out of here. Till next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.